Seth Rogen is addressing the long-standing rumor that fellow This Is The End co-star Emma Watson stormed off set over a raunchy sequence and is providing insight into actually what happened. Whether it be eight days or eight years old, a rumor's credibility is always valid until proven otherwise. Thankfully, Seth Rogen just gave some clarity to the age-old rumor that Emma Watson stormed off set during his directional debut in the 2013 comedy film This Is The End during a recent interview for British GQ's May edition. In case you're not familiar with the film, This Is The End is basically a two hour long spoof film about six celebrities, including Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, Jonah Hill, James Franco, Danny McBride, and Craig Robinson, who gets stuck in James's house after a zombie apocalypse hits. One scene in the film features Danny as a cannibal, while Channing Tatum makes a cameo and appears as a leashed gimp in a leather mask and thong underwear. This just so happened to be the scene that Emma would have been involved in had she not put her foot down and reportedly walked off set when refusing to take part in the raunchy sequence. The rumor has been dormant since 2012, until now when Seth touched on what actually happened and surprisingly confirmed that Emma did in fact refuse to film the scene, but that there is absolutely no hard feelings between the two. Seth dished to GQ, quote, I mean, I don't look back on that and think, how dare she do that? You know, I think sometimes when you read something, when it comes to life, it doesn't seem to be what you thought it was. He reiterated that this was not some terrible ending to their relationship, adding, she came back the next day to say goodbye, she helped promote the film, no hard feelings, and I couldn't be happier with how the film turned out in the end. He also admitted that Emma had a point in wanting to be excluded from the scene just before changing the entire sequence, saying, She was probably right. It was probably funnier the way we ended up doing it. For more context regarding the rumor, Emma was only 22 at the time of filming and was reportedly also not comfortable with the fact that the actors were drinking and smoking weed during filming, which also led to her freak out moment. I mean, not gonna lie, all of this and Emma's stance in the context of the scene makes complete sense. And as Seth mentioned, Emma did come back to say goodbye to her fellow castmates and even help promote the film while also making an appearance at the premiere alongside the entire cast. Emma did end up making it in a portion of the film, but was noticeably absent following the scenes involving Cannibal Danny. The guys even played up all the Harry Potter references once Emma stormed into their shelter, just before she channeled Hermione Granger's no crap attitude and robbed them of their remaining sustenance. I would never hurt you! Of us, you cannot rob us. We truly commend Emma for always staying true to herself and doing what's best for her. And she proves she'll gladly fend for herself to the end of the world. Literally. And speaking of rumors, click right over here to see what Emma's team recently said about claims she's retiring from acting. After that, let me know your thoughts on Seth's remarks about Emma's exit in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later.